above all, what this seminar wants to convey to you is the depth of the human tragedy that we are looking at. You can have some really good ideas, but if in their application, they cause innocent people to suffer, then we must rethink these theories. Late one night last month, a young couple, Dhara and Bhavesh, left these messages on my phone, which with their permission, I'm going to play for you. They had by this time been separated from their baby in Germany for one and a half years. This was their first child. She was taken away from them at seven months of age. Dhara and Bhavesh are among the scores of couples that have contacted me from all over the world over the last 10 years since Sagarika's case. At the time they left these messages on my phone, I had already been working on their case for a year. Theirs is the toughest case that I have ever taken. And the nature of the suspicion on them is so alarming that I nearly refused their case. You will hear about it from them later. They took their seven month old baby daughter for treatment to a hospital after noticing bleeding in her diaper. And the hospital turned around and accused them of having deliberately caused a genital injury to her. You can imagine the seriousness of the situation. And I thought, why should I take up such a controversial case when I'm already fighting a losing battle, persuading Norwegians that hand feeding is not child abuse. This is all voluntary work. I don't charge a penny for it. This is not my career. I didn't need to take the case. But my conscience did not permit me to turn this couple away. I had already seen cases from the USA where parents were wrongly accused of causing injuries to their children when they themselves took the injured child to the hospital. I had seen hospitals get it wrong. I had seen child services exaggerate medical claims. And I had seen judges simply too cowardly to make a decision against what the child services were saying. I knew the system was unfair. So I looked at Dhara and Bhavesh's case, and by the time I woke up to find these messages from them on my phone, I had long been convinced of their case and was working very hard on it. So they were not sending me these to convince me of anything. They were sending me these messages in the same way that parents keep sending me these heart-rending messages from all over the world because no one will listen to them. Shivam? Uh, these are the messages I found one morning sent separately by Bhavesh and Dhara to me at 2 a.m. from Germany. I'm playing these messages with their permission. And first, I will play the one that I heard first, which is from the father, number one, audio one. Dhara? Dhara? Why not? Dhara? Why not? Dara, एक एक माँ ने पुकार जन भगवान कैरे नहीं छोड़ से दारा एक माँ ने पुकार कैरे पर भगवान नहीं छोड़ से चिंता नहीं कर दारा पन दारा चुका मेरा वैसे नहीं देखा चुप था अरे हाँ काई नहीं for those who could not follow, the mother is crying. The father is comforting her, saying that God will not be deaf to a mother's prayers. Their baby will be back. The father is also crying. Immediately below this message, there was an audio note to me from the father, which he had sent me after he had persuaded his wife to speak to a friend on the phone. Please play audio two. I'm 
मैं कुछ नहीं कर पा रहा हूं मेलों की मेल का रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी होता है कि पूरे घर को संभाल लेकिन मैं किसी को नहीं संभाल पाऊ मेरे को मैम ये कोटी अरिंग में चुप नहीं बैठना है मेरे को बहुत चीजें बोल के कहीं से बोलो नहीं पड़ता मेरे को दाना बना कर मत बोलो मत बोलो लेकिन मेरे को बहुत सारी चीजें बोलनी है कोटी में एक साल से हैरान कर दिए हम हमको इधर रहना नहीं था फिर भी जबरदस्ती रहना पड़ता है किसको बोल क्या बोल He is saying the father that he cannot bear to see his wife suffering, that he feels so helpless that as a male he is not able to, not able to live up to his duty of taking care of his family. He says then that he is determined to talk his heart out to court, and then he says more to himself than to me. How should I tell the court? What shall I say? I do not understand what to do. Then I noticed. that about 20 minutes before the father had sent me these messages the mother had sent me this one please audio 3 mam bilkul handle nahi ho raha mai paake ho jaungi par ek minute ke liye mind ko free ho na to wo pressure हैंडल होता भगवान का नाम भी नहीं लेती क्योंकि वो भी मुझे याद दिलाता है अपना दुख याद दिलाता है जैसे पूरा कंट्रोल करके रखती हूँ बिजी रखती हूँ एक सेकंड जब टीवी में से किसी से बाहर आती हूँ नहीं हैंडल हो रहा है मैं मैं कुछ नहीं हैंडल क्या किसे बोल मुझे क्या क्या मुझे क्या फील हो रहा है मतलब मुझे भी नहीं पता मैं किसी को क्या बोलू कि मुझे क्या होता that's the mother she is saying that she cannot bear it any more that she cannot even pray to god as that reminds her of her baby and her grief she says that she tries hard to control her feelings all day but as soon as she turns off the television or takes a break from doing anything the feelings come flooding back so that's it this is what it is like to do the work that i do this is what i have to hear and see day in and day out for 11 years and it's the same in every case the reason i shared this audio with you is that i too feel desperate and hopeless in these 11 years of struggle i keep thinking about mahatma gandhi and what he taught us about fighting for the truth and one of the things he always said that the aim of satyagraha of political struggle is to persuade your adversary of the truth and of the justice of your claims he said that if you truthfully appeal to the humanity of the other side if you can just make them understand your pain then they will come over to you so this was my intention in playing these audios to you Dhara and Bhavesh Shah to come and address the gathering. 
it's taken a lot of courage for them to do this. They are still under scrutiny uh, in, a, in an irretrievably unfair and almost doomed um, process in Germany. They have been knocking on every door only to have their daughter sent back to India. The daughter is a passport holding Indian citizen. She has her heritage here. She has her identity here. That's all they are asking for and it has not been considered. So Dhara and Bhavish, you're here now uh, before this audience and before an international audience. Um, aap Hindi mein bolye, that's fine. Um, aap kya kehna chahenge? Aap kya kehna chahenge dunya ko? Aap ki kya appeal hai? It's like uh, we are fighting from like last 19 months. Uh, we have been alleged for like uh, we have done a sexual abuse of our child which was like very severe charges on us. We can't even imagine such charges being a parents. Though the charges have been already been dropped last year on February 2022, still we haven't got our child back. And um, they are just dragging the case. We don't know, like we are, we are here in India to seek some help from the government of India. Um, so we are not asking for any, any help for, uh, regarding us. We are just asking that our child should be repatriated, repatriated to India under the care of like uh, kinship placement. Meanwhile, we continue our custody battle in Germany. The Thank you, Bhavish. I think that Dhara is now ready and I want her to be strong and I want her to be sp to speak. उन्होंने आरोप डालने की कोशिश की कि हमने कोई गुनाह किया है हमारी बेटी के साथ फिर उन्होंने ही बोला हमने कोई गुनाह नहीं किया है तो फिर बच्ची को दो रख के कौन से गुनाह की सजा दे रहे अगर गुनाह नहीं किया है तो बच्ची को क्यों दो रख रहे अगर कोई गलती की है फांसी पे चढ़ाओ हम हम हर जगह पे सामने हैं हमें आजाद कर दिया is हमें गुनाह नहीं किया उन्होंने गुनाह उन गुनाह से भी बड़ी कर दिया कि नहीं किया है आजाद कर दिया बेगुनाह कर दिया तो बच्चे क्यों नहीं दे रहे अब बच्ची को कौन से गुनाह की सजा दे रहे कि वो एक इंडियन कल्चर में जन्मी है एक इंडियन पेरेंट्स के वहां पे वो एक जर्मन पेरेंट्स के वहां पे जन्म नहीं जन्मे इसलिए क्योंकि हम हमारे देश में नहीं थे हमको भाषा नहीं आती थी हम हमारी चीज नहीं रख पा रहे थे 19 महीने से अब सोचो अगर माँबाप पे ऐसा आरोप लगाओ ना उनको लिए जीना तो जो मौत भी बहुत खराब होती है हम लोग हर पल ये ये मौत जी रहे और इससे भी ज़्यादा उनको फिक्र होती है हमारी बच्चे की साल में जब कोर्ट अपॉइंटेड साइकोलॉजिस्ट बोलती है बच्ची पेरेंट्स के साथ रह सकती है और जब बच्ची तीन साल की या छह साल की होगी तो बच्ची को पूछा जाएगा कि उसको क्या चाहिए बच्ची अभी दो साल की है बच्ची अभी बोल रही है कि मुझे पेरेंट्स के साथ जाना है बच्ची बोल रही है जो मम्मा पापा गए हैं मतलब होता है मुझे मम्मा पापा के साथ जाना है बच्ची मुझे बोल रही है मम्मा कोम मित मम्मा कोम मित मतलब मम्मा साथ चल बच्ची बोल रही है तो क्यों सुना नहीं जा रहा एक माँ बोल रही है तो क्यों नहीं सुना जा रहा चलो एक मिनट के लिए मान ले कि पेरेंट्स ठीक नहीं है ओके पर उन्होंने कोई भी इंडियन फैमिली को देना सही नहीं समझा इसका क्या मतलब है कोई भी भारतीय परिवार कोई भी इंडियन फैमिली इज नॉट एबल टू टेक केयर ऑफ एन इंडियन चाइल्ड सो इसका मतलब है वो लोग चाहते हैं कि सारे इंडियन बच्चों को फॉस्टर केयर में डालना चाहिए क्योंकि इंडियन पेरेंट्स को तो आता नहीं है बच्चों को रखना अगर हम ठीक नहीं है तो इतनी हमारी कंट्री कितनी बड़ी है हमारा समाज कितना बड़ा है और हमारे समाज में इतने सारे लोग हैं जो बिना मनी क्योंकि वहाँ पे जो फॉस्टर सिस्टम चल रहा है ना पैसा देना बंद करो फिर कौन बच्चे को रखता है हमारा वहाँ पूरा परिवार है पूरा समाज है जो बिना पैसे को बच्चे को रखेगा उतना ही प्यार देगा आप उन्हें पैसा देना छोड़ दो पैसे के लिए जो बच्चों को रखने वाले आप उससे जो बिना पैसे के बिन, सिर्फ प्यार से बच्चे को रखने वाले उनसे तोल रहे सागरिका मेरे लिए रोल मॉडल है हर बार टूटती हूँ उसको देख के बताती कि वो अपनी बच्ची को ला पाए मैं भी मेरी बच्ची को ला पाऊंगी 
यहाँ पे एक्सपर्ट से बोला फॉस्टर केयर सिस्टम कितनी खराब है अपनी बच्ची को मैं खराब लाइफ नहीं देना चाहती मैं भी चाहती हूँ कि सागरिका के बच्चों के जैसे मेरे बच्चे भी मेरे साथ खुशहाल रहे मेरी बच्ची भी मेरे पास आए शी विल बी बैक शी विल बी बैक एंड थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग हियर एंड डूइंग दिस योर गोन गेट योर बेबी बैक थैंक यू भाभी संधारा थैंक यू शरथ के रन